YouTube Frag family, welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. And this is your boy Russell Mack, the OG, and today is Old School Sunday. We're going to look at a fragrance. Ah, it's a boss man fragrance. And it's the first of its line. So, if you want to know the fragrance I'm talking about, hang out with us just for a few minutes. And I'll meet you on the other side of the clip. Let's go, y'all. Welcome back, and I'm feeling really nostalgic today. You guys know what it's all about. This is episode nine, I believe, eight or nine of Old School Sunday. This is the segment where we talk about nothing but the old school fragrances from the late um, 70s, early 70s, 60s, some even way back in the 40s and 30s. Um, 80s and 90s up to 2000. Today, the fragrance we're talking about came out in 1985, which was a great year. Um, and it's been around a long time. And this fragrance has a lot of notes. It's the first in the line, first from the house that we'll be talking about. And the house we're talking about today is none other than Hugo Boss. And we know all about Hugo Boss fragrances. Hugo Boss have a has a lot of fragrances out right now. Iced, uh, Hugo Boss, I'm different. Hugo Boss, this, Hugo Boss, the scent, Hugo Boss, uh, the, the Absolute, which is the one that I have. Hugo Boss Private Accord, which is a very, very famous fragrance. There's a lot of fragrances from Hugo Boss. So we're gonna talk about Hugo Boss number one. Look at the bottle, y'all. I have been looking for this for a very long time. Um, I had the box. The box is black with, I think, uh, gray writing, I believe. But this is the bottle presentation. Look at this classy bottle. It has the balls written on it. Look at all that writing, all that stuff etched into the bottle. You have the snug fitting cap. Now, this cap here is a hard type of plastic. You see the juice on the inside. That's the back of the bottle. Perfect square. And a lot of fragrances from these from that time was shaped just like this one. Uh, there's the batch code underneath, and uh, this is batch here, I believe, is like two or three years old. Okay, so it, you know it's very rare we'll find fragrances that are batches from the 80s or 90s, but it, it can be done. Okay, but um, we're going to talk about this scent. But before I do, listen, if you're new to Solomon's Vineyard and you tapped on the thumbnail on Old School Sunday, and this is your first time, why don't you consider becoming a part of the family? This is something we I, I do every Sunday. I shine a light on older, uh, nostalgic fragrances, fragrances that started it all. And uh, why don't you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and whenever I upload a video, a notification will come to your feed, all right? Don't forget to share. You can, you can share the video. I need your thumbs up and your likes, okay? That's that's to help my analytics um, and your scent of the day, okay? If you just want to talk fragrances, you can do it down in the comment thread below, all right? So, in order for us to grow, for our channels to uh, uh, grow and, and maybe one day become monetized, uh, one of my boys, my, my partners, uh, uh, reviews from the six he just started monetizing he finally reached uh, enough subscribers to do so and uh, you know and if we're in and we're, if we're in this for the long haul then we need subscribers we need your likes y'all we need our analytics to look good enough uh, for YouTube to um, push our videos and, and you know the ads all of that all that stuff comes along with for you know because of the analytics so if you want your boy to, to you know, grow, help me, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell icon, like, do all the things that uh, your boy need in order to um, get to a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, before I get into the fragrance, I'll mention this, though. I'm trying, I'm, I'm really pushing to get to the 200 mark. I'm currently right at 150, 
and I'm pushing to the 200 mark, but if we can get to 500, and I believe it can be done, and I believe it will be done, my plan is to do a huge giveaway. Uh, my, my wife and my daughters, they are working on and sponsoring a huge giveaway. They're planning on giving, up, giving away cash and some bottles. So you guys keep tuning in. For more information, this is my. This will be a five hundred dollar, uh, not five hundred dollar, but five hundred subscriber giveaway. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get on into the fragrance, y'all, because I am so happy that I was able to find this fragrance. They found this for me. Uh, my wife and, and my daughter Talia and Amiri, they found this. I believe they told me at Burlington, and I was shocked, shocked. But they didn't have to get it because my friend, my partner, he that had it, ended up giving me a bottle also. So guess what? I think I now have two bottles of this. So one I can keep and one I can rock. So today, we're going to talk about this lovely fragrance. This is the first fragrance in the Hugo Boss line. They were killing with the suits. All right, we know them for make for, 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 for the Hugo Boss suits and ties and shirts. Well, 1985, they put out their first fragrance, and here it is, Hugo Boss number one, all right? And this fragrance here, man, is powerful, elegant, classy, a gentleman's fragrance, and oh my God, y'all ready to go on and get into the scent? Let's get into the scent, all right? That's all I need. This stuff is powerful. Oh my God. When I looked it up, the notes, there's a lot of notes, a lot of notes. You got, uh, and I'll, like I said, I'll post the notes up here. I'll put the nose behind the note, behind the fragrance, the year that it came out, and any other helpful information that you may need, all right? But basically, the notes, the name, um, and the year, okay? Now, this basically opens up spicy, citrusy. Um, there's apple in this fragrance, caraway, man, uh, lily of the valley, lavender, jasmine, um, rose, so many notes in this fragrance. You got apple at the top with bergamot and artemisia, and then in the heart, uh, or should I say the base, there's a bunch of woody notes, so I'm going to post it, but what you mainly get from this fragrance is some spice with citrus and apple with that artemisia and bergamot so you get a, a nice fresh opening with with some with a little musk in the in the beginning or the opening when it when, uh, as it begins to blossom and move to that heart stage wow you begin to get that lavender so because this is it's classified as an aromatic fougere so you have a lot of aromatic notes in this fragrance and you got that lavender and rose and heart so what it basically does it goes into the heart of of that uh, lily of the valley rose and lavender with jasmine but then it dries down um to a note and, and this is the part that i love the most on this wrist here i have the dry down and I've had it on since this morning. And what you basically get is honey and dry tobacco leaf. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love the dry down of the, I love the opening too. It's beautiful, classy. It smells like a man. Um, that's why I want to go on and do this video because I'll be doing another video about five fragrances that men over 45 could wear. And so you can look for this fragrance to be on. This is definitely, a manly scent uh, and it's manly it's the type of fragrance that a boss man would wear you smell this on a boss the owner okay the CEO it's outdoorsy it's earthy has some resins in it and it has that old musk that you would smell in fragrances from the 70s and 80s it's, it, it gives off a natural musky smell now I'm sure formulations over time has been changed because we're looking at a fragrance now that's right at 30 something years old, okay? Uh, or, or, or 40 years old. So you, you, you're looking at formulations being changed. But listen, to say it's 2021 
and for this fragrance to still smell even anywhere close near uh, to the way it used to smell it's 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 outstanding okay when I smell this it take my mind back okay and I can tell you right now this fragrance here is definitely one that will take your mind back okay take you back to the 80s take you back to the early 80s all right the 70s man and hugo boss was, was booming around this time at that time my dad used to wear hugo boss suits um until i got old enough they started putting hugo boss suits on me and i remember that i i, <laughs> I used to wear suits to school when i was living in san diego california i would, was going to peter ross elementary and uh, I was pretty big for a, uh, a, a you know, six-year-old, five-year-old, six, seven, eight-year-old. But my mom, them, I, I loved suits. I loved to dress up then. I loved cowboy boots, and that's how they would dress me. I remember those times. And this fragrance, man, I, this, is, this is why I love doing this segment, because it, it helps me to, to, to not relive, but to look back on those days when things were more simplistic. When people were different, people are so wishy-washy today. But back in those times, people had love for each other. You knew who your neighbor was, you know. You didn't have to lock your doors as much. Uh, oh, my God. When you say you had a friend, you had a friend. You feel me? That's why I love doing this segment. Y'all remember, many of you that been around a while, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you over 35, if you 40, if you 45, 50, 60, then you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So, this is a classy, elegant, gentleman's fragrance. Oh my God, I love the honey, the note in here. I love that dry tobacco leaf with the musk. And you see the notes up here. You see all the notes, the apple notes, which gives us a little, some, uh, just a few, a, a little uh, fruit, some fruit nuances. The spiciness from all of the, the listen, you got even got some floral components from the rose and lavender and lily of the valley. Come on, man. Now, surprisingly, I didn't see any oak moss, okay? I, and I thought that this would have oak moss in it, but it doesn't. And listen, even though this fragrance came out in 18, uh, 1985, I think, for me smelling it, I, I know we, you could still rock this today. You know, if just control your spray. Just put on one or two, two, maybe one on your chest, two on your neck. Let it dry down. And I guarantee you, you will get compliments. In fact, I did. I already got compliments on this fragrance. Outstanding. Unbelievable. And this spring weather we're having with the breeze that's outside today, it's so beautiful in Baton Rouge. We're in the low 70s, like 72, 73. So the wind factor is very high. The sun is out. It's gorgeous, y'all. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'll be leaving out real soon to go over to my sister-in-law house. Uh, but and I don't know. I'm considering rocking this one, but then I, I, I'm rocking Prada Lome right now. That's my scent of the morning or day so far, and I'm loving the way Prada Lome is smelling along with this. It's amazing. Um, nonetheless, this would be a perfect fragrance to rock. It's certainly a room filler. It's certainly, it's certainly a room filler beautiful scent cloud it produces scent bubble scent trail uh jp told me the other day he loved the scent trail from a fragrance and he's right that's what i love i love when i walk into a room and 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 when i leave out of a room i, I, I leave a scent trail not too loud just enough to let that it let the room know i've been there you know so this is hugo ball's Number one, y'all, and I'm so proud to have not one, but two bottles in my collection. And I have a whole bunch of fragrances that I have planned for Old School Sunday. I have a lot of fragrances I planned for my spring lists. And then Trey sent, uh, my brother did a video uh, the other day, and I'll be uh, getting in on that video. And this one will, so I can tell you right now, this will be on the list. Okay, now I just got to pick out four others. But this one going to be certainly on the list. And I'm going to enjoy wearing this fragrance. So, you got the notes. You got the names. The name behind the fragrance. You got the year it came out. And listen, you can find this fragrance. Like I said, Burlington got it. 
Uh, I don't know if Ross, but they may, or you may could even find it on your uh, your discounters, your uh, uh, online discounters, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm getting out of here, y'all. Don't forget about, get your boy to 200, and then after 200, we'll work on getting to 500, all right? I think we can do it. I got some of the best subscribers in the world. I got some great subscribers, okay? So, shout out to all of my Frag family, Pete Van Love, Von Love, uh, uh, Trey Cent, uh, JP Frags, Manuel, all of them, all of my brothers, man, we brothers. And uh, we need each other in order to make it in this world. So listen, stick in there. You can't jump out here and uh, blow up overnight. You gotta pay some dues. And I, I, and I feel as though I've been paying my dues. I have paid my dues. And now God is rewarding, he's blessing me. He's, he's opened up the windows of heaven and pulled me out blessings that I ain't got room enough to receive, all right? I'm getting out of here, y'all. I love you. This has been Old School Sunday, all right? You take care of yourself. Don't forget to love yourself, then love others, all right? And to love your neighbor as yourself, all right? I'm getting out of here, y'all. I'll see y'all soon for another fragrance preview. Take care, family.